Hey lovelies, it's Imogen aka Miss Mo Insane and welcome to another video of the Diagostini's Enhancing Your Mind, Body, Spirit instalment and we are with issue 101 to 104. So there's not very many more of these deliveries left, it's been a very long journey and I still have yet to buy the binders but it's a case of when I have money I will go and be buying um, maybe five more binders. And there's a link to where you can purchase the binders in the information below and additional information about Diego Cena if you're interested. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So in issue 101, we have this piece of Chalcedony. And please excuse my nails, I recently cut them all off in a bid to regrow them. Well, my fingernails at least. And so we have a quite oddly shaped, but I quite like it. And I said Chalcedony with the veins such worth going through it. We also have four of more of these herb cards and I did actually check and it actually says that they're herbal recognition cards that's what they actually are. So we have rosemary and rosemary affiliates and some uses and then on the back we have the habitat and then the description and then we have some recognition tips, time of the year, safety notes and collection tips. So that's rosemary. Then we have daffodil, which is coming up to that sort of season. So daffodil. And again with the notes on the back. We have Daisy, and finally we have Nettle, which goes with our dock leaf card that we had before because I'm pretty sure we had a excuse me a dock leaf card so again there's the habitat description recognition tips and then time of the year safety notes and collection tips so there are four more of those cards so let's have a look at issue 101 So first of all, we have learning to make your own oil blends, the best blending methods and how to use bay oil, uses for bay oil and caring for your herb garden, tending to your herb garden, your guide to Thai massage. Clay massage preparations, performing, I'm not going to even try, the downward dog, the more of our yoga, and taking control of your nightmares, so we have some more inter interpreting your dreams and nightmare information. Again, controlling your nightmares. Reading the Curse of Creativity, so back to palmistry. What your percussion says about you. Understanding the transits of Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Types of transits. So we have transits to the house, transits to the angels and transits to the planets. And then we have Magic of Purple Crystals. Working with purple crystals. The mystery of numerology. For any of you into your numerology stuff. Basic numerology for anybody wanting to learn. Understanding the Requiem. So that's our witchcraft ritual spells and magic. Requiem celebrations. So the eternal flame. Um, gather method. Uh, gather momentum. Eternal Flame, 
gather mementos, emotional flow and the spiritual journey or our spiritual journey as it says. And then we have summoning your saint spirit guides. And we have more on that. And then we have our pull out, which is numerology around the world. And on the back, it has this lovely big poster to illustrate that. There we go. So that's issue 101. So our issue 102 comes with more of these absolutely awful. I don't know if they're all awful, but the ones that I have tried have not been nice at all. But as I said in my previous videos, if you're doing workings outside, these would be fantastic. And then you're not wasting your best stuff on outside. It also comes with six of these. Now let me get it right. I think they were, oh, I will look. Uh, yoga Sutra. Yeah, I nearly said Karma Sutra. And I was like, that's definitely what they, not what these are. Yeah, they are the six Yoga Sutra cards. So I don't really know what Yoga Sutra is. Um, I will hover on these cards for a moment so that if you wish to pause and have a better read of these cards. Oh, sorry. So that's six Yoga Sutra cards. Then our issue 102. So easing stress with benefits of chocolate pretty sure all the lovers of chocolate out there will be jumping on that bandwagon that it relieves their stress let's see so again more on that understanding food supplements so that's more on our natural healing and healthy stuff taking supplements pros and cons benefits deficient diets and for athletes understanding food shopping so this is all a bit different your guide to food shopping and then we have more of our yoga so performing the mountain and continued understanding your chakra deities your chakra deities continued the role of the african medicine man And it continued, how to deal with possessive friends, get rid of them, dealing with a possessive friend, so that could be quite interesting, analysing length and width, so more on our palmistry, interpreting a hand's length and width, understanding the methods of relationship astrology, Types of relationship charts. So we have using synastery, the composite chart, the event chart, and the relationship chart. Legend and folk symbolism. So we have some more information on our green man. I think we've covered on that before. Green man and charms. Maybe we haven't, but I thought we had. Uh, at this point, we have covered so much stuff. So it's hard to remember what we have and haven't covered. Um, understanding vanilla magic. So is that very basic magic or literally vanilla magic? Uh, oh, this, the scent of vanilla. So literally vanilla magic. And there. More on the vanilla scent spell. Summoning your Buddhist spirit guides. Uh, your guide to Buddhist spirit guides and I'm not gonna murder those names and then we have a pull out which is a lovely big poster which is the green man I think we had the green woman actually now I think about it because that would make sense wouldn't it uh, or something I can't remember and the symbolism of the green man which helps if I'm on camera so we have the partner of Gaia green man figures the wild Synosis, I don't know what that word says. Um, Gawain and the Green Knight, the Green Woman, the Green Crust, Oak and Holly King, the Tree of Life, Leaves of the Forest, and Jack in the Green. 
so that's definitely something that I will be looking into as I haven't heard about most of that. So that was issue 102. So issue 103 comes with a bottle of fennel massage oil which I'm not going to open right now. It also comes with four more of these herb recognition cards. So we have dandelion. Which, let's see, what's that? So we have more of our habitat, description, recognition tips, not that we need them, time of the year, safety notes, and collection tips on dandelion. We have oak tree. So we have the habitat again, description, recognition tips, and then we have the time of the year and safety notes, collection tips. Pine, pine again. Then we have pine or pine cone, pine needle, so pine trees. So information on pine there. And then we have the habitat, description, recognition tips, and again we have the time of the year, safety notes and collection tips. And finally we have the white willow, and this is what it says about the white willow. And then we have our habitat, description, our recognition tips, time of the year, safety notes and collection tips. So issue 103, let's have a look, healing with fennel oil, using fennel in aromatherapy, aromatherapy for your memory, using your memory boosting oils, so it has a few various different oils there, for that, taking your batch remedies, how to use batch remedies, more on that, introducing Chinese herbalism, guide to Chinese herbalism, your guide to gathering herbs, oh I'm sorry we've been off screen, the habitats of wild herbs, performing the forward bend for our yoga, the wide-legged forward bend, understanding virginity, so that's nice. So more on our spiritual sexuality and traditions of virginity, so more information on that. Learning through your dreams, how to learn in your dreams, create a tarot deck, get drawing, so how to draw your own tarot deck. Hints and tips for making your own cards. The mystery of the witch's alphabet. So for anybody interested in the witch's alphabet, there's some information on that there and using your alphabet. Choosing your path and types of witches. How to choose your path. Prophets and prophecies, what makes a prophet. Prophecy, a chronicle overview, so that's something that I would definitely look into. Your artist tarot spread, so we have more on tarot, and again, the artist tarot spread in the back here as well. So that's designing, creating your own tarot decks. And finally, for this instalment, we have issue 104, which comes with six more of these uh, Yoga Sutra cards. So I'm just going to hold them up for you if you wish to pause and try and read at all, or skip on by. So there are those. Then this issue also comes with, it feels very plasticky, um, 
yeah, I think it's plastic, but it is this, it's going to focus, it is this Chinese dragon, which is really quite cool, especially for me because I was born under the Chinese year of the dragon, so for me this is like too perfect, although I prefer the color to be different, but it comes with this awesome little Chinese dragon figure. So let's have a look. Uh, what's it say on the back? And it just says that it comes with a Chinese dragon. It doesn't have any more than that on it. So fair enough. Right. So mm -hmm. issue 104. Understanding organic food. And facts about organic food. Using the organic label. Food standards. Earthy eating and biodynamics. And back to our massage, we have stage one massage in the supine position. Probably murdered that. Stage two massage in the side position. The spirituality of yoga, path to enlightenment. The branches of asana. Understanding form school animals. So I'm not quite sure the four animals of feng shui is what that's about so the four celestial animals are the phoenix the tiger the tortoise and the dragon uh, and then there's more information about the four obviously there are more of the chinese zodiac animals but we are talking about the four celestial animals so we may get the other three figures i don't know we might just get a dragon we will have to see so a day in the life of the medicine man so that's more on our medicine man continued over. Rituals and spells. How to be a supportive friend. Supporting your friends. Sexual lifestyles and overview. Traditions of sexuality. Creating your tarot deck, the first act. So this is more on making your own tarot now. Creating your characters. Working out your life path number number profiles so we have the information of one through nine writing your own spells a wisdom spell writing your own wisdom spell performing your spell writing in your book of shadows and i'm hoping later on in this year to actually do a youtube series after this magazine has stopped i'm hoping to do a series on creating a modern day book of shadows that is what I'm going to do once I have finished collecting all these magazines. So if you would like to follow me and see that, I will definitely put, um, well, I will definitely put information on my blog. My blog, I will put it on the screen, but it's ppwwmm.blogspot.com, which is Pagan Planner, Witchy Words and Magical Makes. I already have a whole load of Book of Shadows information on there and I really need to get back into writing the Book of Shadows information that I was doing over there, but moving house and everything has really taken its toll and the medical stuff and it's all been crazy with me. Um, so yeah, but I definitely am planning to do a modern take on a Book of Shadows for anybody who's interested in doing that um, and it's just more or less using more mo modern methods. Um, to create a book of shadows for your very own and if you have one already you can transfer the information over if you don't have one already it would, would be a great place to start uh, and if you have completed collecting these and you want to know more information on stuff then I will definitely have more information on my website and also be transferring that over to my videos I do have a I think it's a five part mini series on how to create a book of shadows and I also have a pinterest board which i've pinned some book of shadow things that i like and i will also link that down below if i remember so moving on so using your book of shadows developing your physical abilities so sixth sense developing your sixth sense step by step and finally we have a sexual lifestyle quiz and your sexual lifestyle explained which I'm pretty sure if you're anything like me you're like super curious so <laughs> let's have a look are you a let's do it like this are you attracted to people of the opposite sex so we have heterosexual gay or bisexual 
So <laughs> they all seem to go to the same place, right? That's wonderful. Do you have or intend to have sexual intercourse? Do you feel sexually aroused by the use of objects and props? Do you have fantasies about dominating or being dominated by sexual partners? This has got it gone weird. This wasn't what I was expecting this to be. Um, and then we go on to different kinds of sexual persons, such as uh, being poly or swinging and such forth. <laughs> Mistress or concubine down there as well. Uh, six. Are, um, are all your sexual encounters within the framework of committed relationship? And then we have this large piece of information down here, which I'm not going to read out to you, but you can read if you wish. So you can pause this and read it for yourself. And then we have your sexual lifestyle explained. So I'm going to try and fold this so that you can pause and read. So we have heterosexual. We have gay. We have virgin, we have bisexual, we have celibacy, we have abstinence, we have S&M, sadomasochism, fetish, monogamy, experimental, Swinging, poly, or polygamy and polyandry, Anonym, uh, uh, anonymous, and mistress or concubine. So that's all the different types explained, and hopefully you got something from that. So that was issue four, 104 even, and that means that is the end of this collection this time so this is my january video which i'm getting out super late as i always do which is part of being super lazy these days or super busy or super super something so thank you again for watching as always and i will see you next month and